It looks like we're ready to do battle here, guys. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Whatever the outcome here tonight, this Brooklyn crowd is sure to be satisfied with this one. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get dropped like that, that's for sure. Driven back down to the mat with unbelievable power. Well, taking a look at Godfather, what, in your opinion, can the WWE Universe expect from him here? I may be getting ahead of myself a little bit, but can you imagine what the victory party will look like if the Godfather wins tonight? We're talking party of the year material, I'm sure. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. It's one thing for a WWE superstar to have a finishing move that puts their opponent away. It's another to have a finisher that can knock your opponent's head clean off. Enter the knockout punch from Big Show. He lands the atomic drop. Putting all that power to good use. What can Big Show do now to get the ball rolling again? He's got to remember he has two partners ready to enter the fray here. Corey, a few moments ago, you talked about the Big Show's knockout punch, the most devastating strike I've ever seen, whether we're talking about the boxing ring, a WWE ring, or the octagon. When I think of Big Show's knockout punch, the first word that comes to mind is boom. That finisher gives a small taste of what the Big Show is really capable of. Ah, oh, the strength. And a nasty inverted DDT. Looking to make a much needed tag. There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh God, that was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's gonna get lit up like a Christmas tree. Talk about sending a message. What power, what a slam, what damage. Luke Gallo showing us how to get it done. Slammed right down on his back and neck. He's taken down face first. Going for broke. Here's his chance. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. Yo, Luke Gallows is on the attack now. Got him good with the elbow there. Man, Luke Gallows, what offense. He'd better hope he can sustain this. Back inside the ring now. Wow, he's getting manhandled here. Somehow has to find a way to make it. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Luke Gallo showing us how to get it done. Luke Gallows is going in for the kill. Choke slam! And now one more time. Choke bomb! That almost came out of nowhere. Just 
just an unforgiving slam. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. Oh, and he's still down, Byron. Things definitely aren't looking very good for him right now. Look, Titus O'Neil's on the attack now. Titus O'Neil is making his presence known. starting to look tired. At this point, I'd say he's probably better off taking a tag to one of his partners. Well, he's clearly not used to competing in a match like this, and it's starting to show. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. I can't help but think of his risk of internal injuries at this point in time. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. He might have it. Titus O'Neil with the clash of the Titus. Wow, Kane is getting absolutely pummeled. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed like that. He's going for the pin. This could be it. What an amazing six-man tag match. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. Simply amazing how well these three work together tonight.